this week at Coffee and Tools. I'm going to show you guys a project that you could sell or make for yourself, but also sell on the internet. And you can uh, use it as a, you could do it as a wood project, or you could do it as a 3D printer project, or you could do a little of both. I chose to do a little of both because of the application and the way I just wanted to do it, but it could be done either way. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the problem with cars and with cell phones. Let's see. The problem is, uh, and a lot of these cars, and this is this is a classic problem. Uh, any of the cars I've owned in the past, even, I get the cell phone, and you have a USB plug in here to plug the phone in with. That's great, but when you plug the phone in, you have this cable, and it's like, okay, what do I do with the phone now? I tried putting it on the dashboard once, and uh, what happened there was the, the phone got hot and started to burn up. It, it went over temperature and shut down on me, so that wasn't a good thing. Uh, the other thing that a lot of people do is I notice is uh, you know larger cars, because this is a small compact SUV, there's no place to put the darn phone. And when you do, a lot of people just throw it on the, on the passenger seat and have it dangling there, you know doing like this and, and here's the USB plug it's like right here the you know by the console and then I've got a big long piece of cord here so we plug the uh, cable into the USB so that we can have information up here on the screen and then we end up throwing the phone you know on the passenger seat um, I've tried putting it on the console like in here but uh, this is a drink holder I need this uh, this is too small the phone doesn't fit in here I tried putting it across here a few times and what happens is I end up destroying the cable because you can see it's a really sharp kind of turn so the cable gets caught in here this is like the third or fourth cable I've had so it doesn't work so wood project 3d printer what are we gonna do we gotta build something that will fix this problem guys I think we got it you know I made this about, oh, probably about a month ago. And here's what it looks like. So, like I said, it's half wood, it's, it's half 3D. I actually had a plan uh, to uh, screw this into the uh, interior of the car, and then I realized, no, there's a better place for it, and I'll show you where it goes, right here. Right there, between the seat and the console, and it just hangs like that. After I plug the phone in, I can just drop the phone in here like that, and, it's it's out of the way it's not blocking anything the cables not stretched the cables just down here on the floor and of course plugged into the phone and at that point you have full access to everything in the car and you're not worried about where this was going now the other place I was going to put it I'll just show this to you if I can but I was going to put it right up in here under the dash so it would be like right here in front of the gas pedal kind of thing and uh, that's one of the reasons I made a I made some holes in it was to see if I could uh, mount it there or even mount it like right alongside here and just slide the phone down into it. But uh, the simplest solution was just put it between the seat and me and have it like right there. And when I get out of the car, I can just slide it out and uh, remove it and go back in the house. So here it is. And it's really a simple, it's really a simple idea. It has the, uh, I made these great big holes just to save material. Okay, they're not there for any other reason just other than just material savings. I really could have even cut it back even larger or bigger than that because all you're really doing is making a box and then I've got, in this case, I've got a little overhang piece of lumber on it. I was going to design this with 3D so that it had more of a like a C type uh, configuration that would, you know, like hook to the side of the console like along here or something and just hang it like that. So, but I thought between the seat and here, it's really stable. It doesn't slide forward, it doesn't slide back. The phone just seems to stay right there. And after plugging it in, like that, you just drop the phone in there. And that way the phone has a place in the car and there's no problem. Uh, like I said before, I've tried the dashboard, I've tried the seat thing. If the sun hits it, it gets too hot and you sort of, you know, blow the phone sort of thing. Uh, also try this sort of activity. And the other thing with, specifically with, well, very specific with this car is the shifter if you get the phone in the wrong spot here it will you'll go to put it in reverse or something it'll actually get caught up in with the phone which is a you know pretty bad idea so this week at coffee and tools guys uh, besides all the other stuff we got going on uh, I thought I'd show you this because I think it's a cool idea it's really simple you could make this like I said out of wood 
or you can do a 3D print. I'm not going to share this uh, file on Thingiverse or something like that for 3D printing, and the reason I'm not going to show it is because there's uh, so many different cars out there, so many different styles. You'd have to sort of print the one for your phone. Uh, my phone is in a, you know, my little apple's in a <laughs> little, <laughs> little apple is in a Defender, and it's sort of bulky. Some phones aren't quite so bulky, but uh, the size of this, it could be, you know, bigger than this, or it could be smaller than this, depending on, of course, you know, whatever phone you're using. And what I thought was really cool was the way it's just, it gives the phone a place to be. When I'm in the car, it slides in there. I'm hands-free. I got my map and everything else going on with the phone, checking gas buddy or whatever I need to do. And I thought, uh, I've seen a lot of different uh, folks fighting with phones in the car trying to figure out, you know, where do I put the phone? So I thought, well, why not make a place? There are a few uh, vehicles out there that uh, I have seen where they do have like a pouch or something where the phone can go in. And even those sometime, I really not that great. So auto manufacturers somehow haven't caught up with our technology. <laughs> so <laughs> this week at Coffee and Tools, hey, you saw something. You could make this out of wood or, like I said, 3D print it, and you could sell this on the internet all day long, probably for, you know, various car, a lot of cars. And I, what I did was, I see if you can see in there, I made two holes with screws and stuff so that you could mount this thing somewhere and slide the phone in. This actually, uh, really amazing too, this is just a prototype. This was the very first one I drew up and I made and it was drawn up on uh, Fusion 360 at the time. Uh, I no longer have an account with Fusion 360. They seem to think I'm making too much money or something, they want me to get a license, and they have changed the agreement on the whole thing to where it's, it's pretty hard for a 3D printer hobby guy even to uh, be able to use their software without having to be forced into a subscription. And I am just not into paying uh, monthly for subscriptions, so the uh, Issue now is finding a 3D print service that uh, is either free or affordable. Uh, talk to a couple of the companies online, uh, actually on the phone even, uh, just in the last few weeks. And uh, I mentioned that for a hobbyist with a 3D printer, uh, you know, $9.95 a month or something would be fine. But when you start asking for $60 a month, such as uh, I think it's uh, Fusion 360, it's just not doable, you know, because I made this and, you know, you guys, you know, on 3D printer or out of wood, you can bang these out and maybe sell them for $29.95 or $19.95 a piece or whatever. Make them in different colors so they match the interior of the cars, you know, stuff like that. And, and even have to add a service where you will mount them for, you know, an extra $10 up, screw it into your upholstery or whatever if you want. <laughs> but this was just a simple idea, but I thought, it's a terrific idea. It has relieved uh, a headache in my life that I had with every time I got in a the last car, the car before, and this car, you know, where, where do I put the cell phone and where do I keep it? The, the, the cell phone doesn't get into a problem or become a problem. So, like always, hey guys, uh, fairly short one today, uh, sort of. Thanks for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and more crazy project stuff coming up.